Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Got another great video for you guys today. As usual, you guys know the deal on this channel, man. And we must continue to set the record straight. Stop the lies. Stop the narratives. Stop them from rewriting the history. Stop them from bending reality. You guys know that we must continue to stand up, man. And in this video, man, we're going to continue to talk about what we were talking about earlier. LeBron James, the Los Angeles Lakers, and how LeBron James is the Master P of NBA's history, guys. That's right. If you all, any of you guys know about Master P, right, No Limit, right, the, the, the rap group, right, the rapper back in the day, shout out to Master P and No Limit, man. They had some, some hits back in the day. But there was this song called It Ain't My Fault. And this is LeBron James, man. LeBron James is the Master P, man of NBA's history, man, because it's never his fault. We're going to talk about it in this video because, once again, they're trying to blame the role players, right? They're trying to blame the role players for the Los Angeles Lakers lost last night to the Denver Nuggets, guys. And I want to thank you guys, everyone across the world, everyone across the states has been supporting my channel, man. Once again, guys, I am truly, truly humbled by all the support. Shout out to everybody in Canada, the Philippines, France, England, New Zealand, Australia, South Africa, the Netherlands, Belgium, Germany, Serbia, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, Mexico, Croatia, uh, South Africa, Puerto Rico, Trinidad and Tobago, Jamaica, the Bahamas. Just shout out to everybody, man, for real, man. I am truly, truly humble, guys. Shout out to all you guys, everybody across the states, New York, LA, DC, Chicago, Detroit, Ohio, Massachusetts, North Carolina, Texas. Shout out to all you guys, man. Thank you, man. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, like I said, man, we're going to continue to talk about LeBron James, man, and how he's the master P of NBA's history because it's never his fault, man. He is the master P. He's the shaggy. It ain't, it ain't, it, it wasn't me, right? He's the shaggy. He's the Steve Urkel of NBA's history. Did I do that? This is LeBron James, guys. These are the facts because after only the first playoff game that the Los Angeles Lakers have played this season, we all know that they lost last night to the Denver Nuggets. What are we already hearing? Everyone blaming everybody else, right? They're going to blame everyone else. They're going to blame D'Angelo Russell's inconsistent play. Oh, he, he never plays good in the playoffs now, right? Everyone right? never plays good in the playoffs, right? They want to blame Austin Reeves. They want to blame Anthony Davis. Meanwhile, it's LeBron James who is supposed to be the leader of this team. It's LeBron James that all season long, they were hyping up. Didn't LeBron James win the in-season tournament championship MVP or some nonsense like that? Didn't he win the tournament MVP? So if he's the MVP of the Los Angeles Lakers, if he's supposed to be the best player on the team, he's supposed to be the leader, why is LeBron James never receiving any of the blame, guys? Once again, LeBron James is the master P of NBA's history, right? It ain't my fault. Uh, it ain't my fault, right? It's never his fault. And his fans never put the responsibility, the accountability on LeBron James. The media, they never blame LeBron James. You listen to the broadcasts, man. Shout out to everybody out there, man. Shout out to my man Jordan vs. LeBron. Shout out to my man Angry Old Hoops. Shout out to Dreamers Pro. Shout out to Michael Jordan fans of the best. Shout out to all those guys that have been talking about these broadcasts, man. Because you can't listen to these things. You turn the broadcast on and then you got Reggie Miller saying all this crazy stuff, man. Always trying to overhype the scenarios with a LeBron James or any of these guys. And But what at the end of the game, when the Lakers lose, they blame everybody else. They'll blame Hachimura. They'll blame Anthony Davis. right? They'll blame Austin Reeves. They'll blame D'Angelo Russell. They'll blame all the guys who are getting paid less money than LeBron James. They're going to blame all the guys who are supposed to be role players next to LeBron James, right? All these guys, none of those guys are the leaders. None of those guys are supposed to be taking all that kind of heat. But yet, somehow, some way, every time that someone plays LeBron James, they take all the heat. He never takes the responsibility for the losses on any of the teams. When he was on the Miami Heat, they're blaming Dwayne Wade's knees. They're blaming Chris Bosh. They're blaming this guy. They're blaming Ray Allen. They're blaming this guy over here. Everyone else's fault, it's not LeBron James. When he goes to Cleveland again a second time, they blame Kevin Love. They blame Kyrie Irving for one out of Cleveland. Everyone gets blamed whenever LeBron James teams lose. But somehow, some way, he's one of the all-time great players in NBA's history, but he don't take the blame or the responsibility of the other all-time great players. Once again, I've told you guys this many, many times. There was no one blaming Scottie Pippen. There was no one blaming Horace Grant or Tony Kukoc or Dennis Rodman. Were they blaming Dennis Rodman for going to Vegas and Michael Jordan having to chase him and getting him out of Vegas? No. The responsibility, the blame always fell at Michael Jordan's feet. They didn't even blame Phil Jackson. 
They blame Michael Jordan. It always fell on Michael Jordan. The responsibility, the accountability. That's what the leader's supposed to do, right? They didn't blame Kevin McHale or Robert Parrish. It was Larry Bird. It was his team. He was the leader. Bill Russell. It's Bill Russell Celtics. They didn't blame Bob Cousy or some of these other guys who were great in their own rights, but they didn't take the responsibility or the accountability that a Bill Russell did. It was him first and foremost. But for some reason, LeBron James, who wants to be mentioned with these other all-time greats, they blame the other guys. They blame the Russell Westbrooks and the Danny Greens, the Anthony Davises. They blame these other guys. How could you blame a D'Angelo Russell for last night when LeBron James scores four points in the fourth quarter and doesn't play a lick of defense? Stu hasn't played defense ever for the Los Angeles Lakers. LeBron James has not played defense for the Lakers. But somehow he's getting max money. He wants max money to play half the game. The man's playing 50-55 games every single year but this season. But he wants max money every year. But they want to blame everybody else. Once again, LeBron James, right, being the shaggy of the NBA's history, right? Right? You guys know the shaggy song, right? It wasn't me. It wasn't me, right? It's never LeBron James. At the end of the games, what do they say? LeBron James made the right play. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He had to fumbling and bumbling around again, making the turnovers, standing around on defense, hands on hips, blowing on the hands, wiping off the hands on the chest, just doing nonsensical things, showing to a, a terrible poor body language, showing no leadership. No leadership from LeBron James, but he wants to get paid like the leader. This is what I'm talking about with these guys. Right? A lot of these guys today, they want to be the leader or known as the leader. They want to be seen as the leader. Right? They want to get paid like the leader, but they don't want the responsibility of the leader. They don't want to be held accountable for the team's struggles or things that may be going on. No, they don't want to deal with those things, but they want all the money. They want the max money, though. Right? They want to be all the commercials, all this stuff. But LeBron James, they're going to blame other people? His fans, the media, they're going to blame D'Angelo Russell. They're going to blame Darvin and the coach. How many coaches have been blamed for LeBron James' struggles? It's always the coach's fault. Always. They blame the owners, the general managers. They, I told you, they blame the fans. This is why LeBron James only won in the bubble. There were no fans there. Isn't that ironic, guys? No, it's not. These are the facts. LeBron James can't play with the fans yelling at him and all this stuff. It makes him nervous out there. He don't want to go to the free throw line at the end of these games. So all of a sudden, he changed up the game plan. But they're never going to blame LeBron James. They're always going to blame the teammates, guys. And this is why he will always be the masterpiece of NBA's history. He'll always be the Steve Urkel. Did I do that? He'll always be the Shaggy. And he'll always be the fool. And he'll never be able to be mentioned with the all-time greats, the Tim Duncans. They were not blaming other guys. They weren't blaming Bruce Bowen. Were they blaming Bruce Bowen when they didn't get it done against the Lakers or they didn't get it done against that team or this team? No, they didn't blame Bruce Bowen. They didn't blame Manu Ginobili or some of these other guys. It was Tim Duncan, first and foremost. He's supposed to be the leader. It's Tim Duncan, right? They didn't blame all these other guys, man. Kobe Bryant took the blame, right? They weren't blaming Derek Fisher. They weren't blaming Lamar Odom. It was Kobe Bryant who had to get it done. All the pressure was on him. All the pressure was on him. I told you, for some reason, LeBron James never had the pressure on him. He's in a win-win situation. If the Lakers win or if his team wins... It's all him. But when they lose, it's everyone else's fault. Hey, LeBron James, after triple-double, man, uh, it ain't his fault. Because LeBron James knows as long as he puts up those stats, as long as you can see those numbers, then people won't blame him. His stupid fans, they won't blame him. And this is why I told you his fans are not real basketball fans because they don't understand the game, they don't watch the game, and they never hold them accountable. They won't. So they'll let him do these stats in garbage time. His team will get blown out four games to nothing. He can average 30 points a game, and then they'll just talk about everyone else didn't do anything. But then when you flip the script to Michael Jordan, they say that Michael Jordan couldn't beat the Detroit Pistons because he's garbage. But Michael Jordan was averaging 35 points a game, but he didn't have any help. But they won't say that for Michael Jordan. One and nine without Pippen, they'll say. So where's LeBron James? With help, LeBron James still getting blown out. But they'll give excuses and put it on his stats. But Michael Jordan don't get no credit for his stats going against the Pistons in 89, in 1990, the stats he put up against the Celtics in 86, he don't get credit for those stats. But LeBron James will get credit, credit for his stats. Going against teams that he should be beating or be competitive with. That's the difference. You guys know the deal, man. LeBron James never being held accountable or responsible for anything that's happened in his career. Any of the struggles, the collapses, none of his actions, walking off the court early, 
all of these things, never developing his overall game, not, not playing defense for years, showing no true heart, no grit, no leadership, trying to fake injuries. This is LeBron James, man, flopping around. And last night, more the same. The Lakers, LeBron James disappears in the fourth quarter. And they blame his teammates. They're out there blaming everybody else already. I can see it now. I see it already. They're blaming everyone else. You can't be an all-time great, but never take the responsibility of an all-time great. You want to be a king, but never take any responsibility? What kind of king is that? What kind of king puts all the responsibility on the prince, right? Or on the court jester? This is what LeBron James does. He puts the responsibility on the lesser people, the people who have, are supposed to have less responsibility, who are supposed to have less responsibility. LeBron James puts all that on them. This is why he'll pass the ball to George Hill, guys, in the 2018 NBA Finals Game 1. When he's got 50 points, he'll drop it to George Hill and put all the onus on him. But he's supposed to be the king? How does that work? Right? It's like LeBron James is that kind of guy, right? If he was the king and he was called out by another king for a one-on-one, -on -one, winner take all, fight to the death combat. We're talking about swords and shields, gladiator times, right? Medieval times. LeBron James is called out by another king for a one-on-one -on -one duel, fight to the death. LeBron James is the kind of king where he would try to have his best fighter fight his battles for him. He would never want to fight the battles. That's LeBron James. He wants everyone else to lay down in front of him, everyone else to take all the heat all the shots, all the sword swipes. But he wants to be called the king. He wants all the money, all the fame. None of the blame. Can't be both ways, right? Can't be both, guys. And that's the problem for LeBron James and his delusional fans, right? They never hold him accountable, and this is why he's a fake king. Because you can't be a king when you ain't taking the blame, the responsibility. You ain't out there in the front lines. You ain't leading your people. LeBron James... Like I said, man, where was he in the fourth quarter? Master P. Master P. This is LeBron James. I told you, the Master P of NBA history. There's no knock on Master P. This is just, I'm talking about the, the, the song Master P. It ain't my fault. That's LeBron James. It's never his fault. Never his fault. It's always everyone else's fault. You guys know the deal, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.